So my name is George Mangos. I'm a co-principal of Interunity Group, which is a, uh, a ship owning and ship services group running about 80 vessels today. There is a huge amount of information that's available. And so what we have to do as investors is we have to try and pass through all of this information and try and come up with a coherent investment strategy. But the thrust of, of, of what I was trying to say is that while we're doing that, one has to be very mindful of the risk that you're taking on, especially in a very volatile and very cyclical industry. And so you have to make sure that your investment strategy is appropriately hedged by uh, not taking on too much risk in the form of perhaps excessive leverage uh, and that your strategy is able to be flexible so that in our case, for example, uh, we invest in debt structures as well as equity structures and the idea is that we have a counter-cyclical hedge. So when things are going better, we make equity investments and when the environment is, is, is sort of in a downward spiral, then we're able to, uh, to, to acquire debt assets and, and, and work in restructuring. The initial point to say is that I share the frustration of many people in, in terms of looking at the tools that are available to us in order to try and improve our environmental footprint and struggling to figure out how we can pay for them and how we can make that work and how we can accelerate that process. And it's not helped by the fact that the stakeholders, uh, this being the charterers and, and the owners and the shipyards and the regulators, are all seem to be moving at different pace, at different paces and in slightly different directions. And what do I mean by that? We're all looking, we have now a green agenda and, and certain specific decarbonization targets, but there is a lot of investment moving in, in, in a lot of different ways. We don't know which fuel source we should be concentrating on. And rather than creating an environment where uh, working towards our green goals is something that's cooperative, uh, it, it's something that becomes speculative. And that's a, uh, there's a lot of wasted energy and a lot of wasted money that's, that, that we're going to look at. That. You make a very important point. Shipping of itself is a very efficient mode of transport. We, you know, I believe the figure is about 95% of the world's goods with about 3% of the world's emissions. So we start from a good place, but there is so much low-hanging fruit. Uh, and as you said, the presentation immediately before me by, uh, by Paul from Vartila was, was, was explaining how you can save 15% of fuel by just coordinating your time of arrival at a port uh, rather than uh, idling outside of the port and, and, and waiting for your turn. These are very obvious benefits and improvements that we can make with, with a very minimal uh, investment footprint. So I think we're highly incentivized to look at that low-hanging fruit. The CII framework rewards uh, actions such as uh, software improvement, uh, voyage management, uh, taking certain measures to uh, improve, let's say, uh, the, the consumption of your hull form, paints, and so on and so forth. So I'm quite confident that the stakeholders, uh, the ship owners, and so on, we're, you know, we're all going to invest in this, uh, and we will be rewarded for it. The reward, however, this is an interesting thing because that is more, it's more diffuse. Uh, there are incentives for green financing that are coming into the market. There's a, a lot of talk about it. We haven't yet seen it. Making, uh, making its impact fully, fully uh, noted. But the biggest problem that we face, I believe, is looking at what is going to be the future generation of vessels in terms of uh, propulsion systems and in terms of fuel sources. And this is where I believe governments should be uh, stepping in in a far more active way, or at least there should be a way for us to cooperate far more. It should not be the case that people should be investing huge sums of money into different fueling sources that may be redundant down the line. All of that investment could be much better concentrated if we were all to be able to say, right, let's, let's decide what, what is going to be the fuel source that's going to help us get there. Let's get the shipyards involved. Let's get the owners involved. Let's get the charterers involved. Let's spread the pain in such a way that we can reach our goals swiftly, effectively, and we can compete where we should be competing uh, which is in, 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 in quality of service and not on our environmental footprint and not on safety. These are, these are two things that should be collaborative.